You could you could have a Pharrell size hat atop of these. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the Happy Huts. I'm Neil, and I'm sorry for the background noise right now. We're in a really heavy thunderstorm here over the Happy Huts. Uh, so I've had to come in from outside. I was going to do this in the garden, but today I am unboxing this. It's a, an unboxing and, and first impressions review of the Audio Technica ATH M40X professional monitor headphones let me show you the other side of the box while I tell you why I'm unboxing this my work has issued these to me which is great because I do a lot of audio work at work but usually I use these my Urban Ears Platan 2 gorgeous headphones I love the bass response on these and they are so comfortable and I've got all my Urban Ears Platan 2 videos in the description but this is quite a big upgrade and I got giddy with excitement when I got this in my hands the first thing I wanted to do was to make an unboxing and first impressions video for you but the second reason is that Phineas Eilish Billy Eilish's producer brother he made a video for GQ on the 10 things he can't live without and I think it was around number five were these amazing headphones that he, he really raved about Turns out those headphones are the Audio Technica ATH M40X. I've got a camera up above. Hello. This is just going to be a really quick video just to show you what you get in the box. Oh. I've wanted to <laughs> open these for about three days. Oh, nice. And then in this triangular box, there's some leads and things. You get a really nice pouch case with Audio Technica embossed on it. And it's like a drawstring pouch. But look, we'll come to all of this in a moment because you want to see these. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, there's more stuff under there. Oh, there's a bag for each ear cup. Now, what I'm concerned about most is the weight and how these will feel when they are wearing it, because these feel like nothing. But obviously, I don't think these will have the audio quality of these. Let me show you the cups and the stitching. That's all nice, isn't it? And then, as you can already see, the cups are completely flexible. You can turn them inside out, swivel them up, down. The clicks, you can hear the clicks as they click into place. Oh, I've gone too far around. I've broken them. I've broken them already. Phineas, I've broken your headphones. Oh, right. So, so basically they flip this way and that's why I can't turn them around. It's like I'm using headphones for the first time, isn't it? So there's a huge Audio Technica logo. The finish, as I'm sure you've seen on other reviews, the, the materials are plastic, it's, it's plasticky. The advantage of that is they are lighter than they would be with other materials. Let's put them on. Wow, and I, I can't hear anything <laughs> in the room right now. I can't hear the rain that's uh, hammering down on the roof. You can see it has ATH M40X embossed on the side, but these extend. Let me pull them out the full way for you. Wow, that's huge. So you could probably get that on a very big bobble hat if you are DJing, <laughs> playing some form of guitar. Obviously, they've got the Mickey Mouse kind of size there. You could, you could have a Pharrell size hat atop of these. <laughs> so I'll push them back in because my head is big, but not quite that big. And it very firmly, I think you can only wear them one way round. So this is the right and this is the left like that. If I wear them the other way round, I could do all the time with my open ears. It's the wrong way round. As you can see. So let's see what else is in the box because obviously they're not cordless. So back in the box underneath this cup here are lots and lots of leads. Right this looks like the 3.5 millimeter jack obviously but if I hold it up to the camera where you can probably see that underneath the jack there there is it's like a locking mechanism set into the plug there and there's a normal 3.5 millimeter jack with a thread there for an adapter. Let's check out the other leads. And this is the same kind of deal so that you have a 3.5 mil jack to connect to the headphones with that locking mechanism on the jack plug there. And then on the other side, we have the quarter inch jack with, it looks gold plated adapter. So it goes to 3.5 mil. But the difference, as you can see, you don't need me to say this out loud, but I will anyway. It's a curly cord that expands. 
So I think I'll probably be using these because I'm always walking off and <laughs> damaging equipment by not taking the headphones off. So that'll be really useful for when I go a wandering. Oh, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> On the left hand cup under here, hold it up. That is the port for this 3.5 mil jack and I've got to put it in and I've got to find the locking mechanism and then I can turn it and it clicks. So I've turned it clockwise, it clicks into place and that's now fixed. Let me read out the packaging while I, I show you the headphones from every angle possible. 40 millimeter drivers with rare earth magnets and copper clad aluminum or aluminum wire voice coils. 90 degrees swiveling air cups for easy one ear monitoring. Oh, that's what the swiveling is for. Professional grade ear pad and headband material delivers more durability and comfort for professional studio tracking and mixing as well as DJ monitoring. And what I love about these already, I can see you can wipe the headband clean, <laughs> which I can't do with my other headphones. It's not an unpleasant, it's, it's leather like, but it's not pleather. It doesn't feel too plasticky. It does have a nice feel and there is a slight cushion underneath the headband there. So there is some comfort padding under there somehow. Let me put them on. I can't hear you. <laughs> I can't hear anything. I mean, look, how do you review headphones on YouTube? Uh, this is just first impressions, but I'm going to listen to the music that I listen to all the time, which is the grandstand theme 56 minute loop. I can't play too much of this music because I will get that copyright strike. So the first thing I can say is that they are incredibly comfortable. The ATH M40X, they feel pretty good on first, first impressions. The bass response is phenomenal. I can really hear the bass and the timpani of the grandstand theme. Yet, yeah, I mean, obviously these are keepers. I'm not sure what else I can tell you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. So the first thing I can say is that the ATH M40X are incredibly comfortable. The padding is just right. My ears are completely enclosed and ah, oh, the sound I, I don't know how to describe this to you, but to me, the bass response is phenomenal. I can really hear the low notes of the grandstand theme there. I better not play too much of it because I don't want to get a copyright strike. It, it sounds really rich uh, for obviously something you would expect of headphones of, at this price range. By the way, you can buy the Audio-Technica ATH M40X using the links in the description below. If you do that, you help me out, so thank you. And right here are some other things that I've been doing on YouTube. Thanks for, for coming and I hope this helps. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, like.